Good morning, Facebook. How we doing? It's E. Gray. I'll get it right, get it fit, training. Uh, just my Monday morning inspiration, something I'm going to try to start doing here. Um, just to give you a little push this morning. It's like 5, 5.15 right now in the morning. Uh, yeah, I'm up a little early. Uh, but that's how I kind of tend to do. I got a lot of things going on in my mind. And anyway, I came up with this progress of things I called my three P's. I want to introduce it to you guys. It is called my prayer, my plan, and my push. Three things I try to do every morning, okay? I do plan before I go to stand accordingly. However, when it comes to my purpose and, and doing more, than I, and, and birthing more things out of me than I'm doing now, often I have my plate, sometimes I, I you can be succumbed by the fear of thinking that you may not can accomplish certain things. So therefore, I pray so that my plan can be not be just my plan, but his plan that he has for me in order to birth out what's already in me. No, but it gave me the courage. And once I have the courage and I trust in the plan, and you got to trust in your plan, now you got to push. You can push through whatever comes. Well, life ain't easy. It's hard. It's tough. But find your goal and find your purpose because it's in you. You were born to be great. Understand that. You were born and created to be great. Whether it's a three-month plan, a six-month plan, a year, even a month plan, take a three-by-five card similar to this. Write down your goals. I've been doing it for a while now. The way it has done, has, the way it has impacted my 2015, it's only beyond my imagination. Okay, I promise you the things that I've been able to do and I'm still doing, and I think like on horizon that I haven't been able to re even release yet has come. I really believe by I me mean, looking at this card every day and studying it every day. Um, so you put your three goals down there, or whatever your goals may be, however many may be, and then on the back, right, Matthew 7 and 7. All right, uh, you, I even added the verse 8. It says, and it shall be given to you. Seek and you shall be open. It shall be open unto you. For everyone that seeks findeth, and to him that knocketh it shall be open. Great verse. Make it do it every day. Read that every day, man. Because it helps remind you, program your mind. You start seeing yourself doing it. You start seeing it. Keep you on track to what you're doing. Cause life, like I said, it can take you to and fro each and every day. But don't you have something to remember yourself and keep yourself stable and keep yourself focused? That's the key. The last thing, die empty, don't die full. Die empty, don't die full. Meaning, everything that's within you, don't take it to the grave. It's too many dreams and visions and purpose that sit in the grave that would never come to fluidity. Why? Because they never, they die full. They know how to get it out of them. Take these steps, progress them, study people that you want to be like. Be around them. Surround yourself by positive people, not negative people. Positive people. I don't care if it's your family. I don't care if it's your love. If it's your 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 your, your loved ones, or whoever close they are, separate yourself. Because why? Your destiny depends on it. So signing off. E grade morning inspiration, man. It's a great time to start it off Monday morning. I love each and every one of you all. I hope you be blessed by this, and get right, get fit. We in here. Time to go to work. I'm out.